the feedback sandwich. Put a slice of praise on the top and the bottom and stick the meat of your criticism right in between. It's popular among leaders and coaches, parents and teachers, but it doesn't taste as good as it sounds. The positives often fall on deaf ears. When people hear praise during a feedback conversation, they brace themselves. They're waiting for the other shoe to drop and it makes the opening compliment seem insincere. If you avoid that risk and manage to be genuine about the positives, they can drown out the negatives. We often remember what happens first and last in a conversation, glossing over the middle. So if you start and end with positive feedback, it's easy for the criticism to get buried or discounted. It's better to just put the criticism right on the table and take three steps to make it more constructive. One, explain why you're giving the feedback. Reinforce that you believe in their potential and care about their success. Two, ask if they want feedback. Instead of blindsiding them with a monologue, you invite them into a dialogue. Three, take yourself off a pedestal. Ask them to give you feedback too. So next time you're dishing out some constructive criticism, show people that you have their back and believe in their future. Give them the chance to opt into the conversation and make it a two-way street. They'll be less defensive and you'll learn more too.